Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make these festive vases just out of cardstock. Now I've designed this one with flowers in it because I thought Mother's Day is coming around the corner very soon and I've handmade some of these flowers but not all of them. Um, and I thought well if you want to make your own paper flowers and pop them in a vase what a lovely way to do it. And this is hunky dory card so it's really thick and sturdy and I suggest you use thick and sturdy card because it will, you can put a lot of weight in which I'll show you in a minute. Well, look at this. I've got pens in there and there's no problem with this whatsoever. And then in this one, I've got really heavy scissors. And as you can see, no problem at all with this one either. So there are three different sizes. I'm going to show you how to make all three. First of all, we're going to make this one. And the reason we're doing this one first is it's got a hidden extra inside. So what I've done is I've popped a little box inside where you can see you can push any size thing in there and it will, well, any size within that size and it will keep that in place because if this was in there on its own, sorry, whoops, yeah, just like that, it will wobble. Thank you, camera, for joining in. So it would wobble all around the pot. So by putting that in there, we can slot it in and it will stay exactly how you want it to be so it'd be nice just for a display in your own home or as a gift so let's get started and I'll show you like I say how to make all three because they are different the bases have to be different on one of them um, which is the bigger one which I'll, I can do second if you like because then the third one's just about size so what you need is a pencil a scoreboard or ruler and some card now this piece of card is going to be the faceted vase and this is nine by six inches so this is a smaller of the vases now, what you need to do is just mark these at two, four, six, and eight. Okay, so we're just going to mark at two, four, six, and eight. And you need to do that at the top and the bottom. Two, four, six, and eight. So we've got a little pencil line there. The only other pencil line you're going to need is on. You see there's always going to be a half size here. This is always going to be half of two, so it's one. And then what you need to do now, we're doing a base on mine. I've designed them so they've got a base in them. So the actual height of the vase is four inches. So I'm going to put a score line down at four inches and then halfway between four is two. So we put a little mark there as well. Now we're going to turn it around. And what I'm going to do here is I'm not going to mark the bottom. I'm going to actually score it because I've got a scoring board now. If you don't have a scoring board, then just mark it. So we're going to go at two here. And we're scoring from the line we drew just now down to the bottom. Two, four, six and eight. OK, now the next thing we need to do is make cuts. So this little section here. Is going to come off completely we don't need it surplus to requirements so we'll get rid of that first let's just chop that off and i've left a bit of the score there so i'll take that off as well otherwise it'll show on the bottom of the bars and then we're just going to cut up all of these so just make a cut up there cut up there oops and a cut up there so we've got four Flaps at the bottom, reinforce those score lines for those four, and that's that part done. And now we're going to make diagonal scores. Okay, now the way the scores go, if you have this little section to the right that you've got, you've got your four flaps here, and then you're going to turn your work diagonally so that the first point is going to come down to this first cut line. So where we've got a cut line, I lift the second one up here. And what you'll see is that you can see exactly where that mark is. So you, that's why you didn't need to put a pencil mark there. So you just have to lift the flap up and then you can score diagonally like this. Pop that one down, put that one up, go to your next pencil line and, find, and make sure you're catching this on the straight on the same line. If you're off, then it's going to go out. So make sure you're using the same line that you've got in your scoreboard and we just go down that way. And then we lift this one up and again we do the same thing we go down that way like so and then finally this one's just going to go to this corner piece here that I very badly cut because I'm just demoing it obviously take more time now this last one where we put this little halfway mark you're going to go from that to that so just go like that so you can see all the diagonals are in the same way then we turn it 
I'm not really tearing it, we just turn it a bit. I think I'll leave that down for now. I mean, I'll put it out of the way because I could catch it. So same line, make sure you're on the same line and just diagonally score that way. Come along, lift the flap up, go to this pencil line and diagonally score this way. Go along again, lift the flap up and go in there. I can just score them. Go along to the next one. Lift the flap up. Actually, I'll lift that one because I think I'll see it better. You'll work it out as you go in. You'll realise, actually, I can't see it with that one, so lift the next one and you will. And then finally, we're going to just come down to this score line edge here on that last one there. I'm just going to go like this. So now I'm going to go over to the one that I've marked which is like this, okay? So I didn't take that flap off when I marked it, so it looks a little bit different to the one I've just done, but it's exactly the same. And I'll bring that in to show you. So you can see there, all I've done is highlight the score lines for you. So that's what we did on a nine by six inch piece of card. Now, all you have to do with this is fold it. So all the diagonals are getting folded the same way. Now burnish these, burnish means reinforce the score lines because obviously and don't do it over the top of a scoreboard like i am because it will leave dents in the card possibly so you just go all one way with all of these and let that little piece flip out of the bottom so you're not bending it this one here just turn it up like that so they've all gone that way and then we're going to turn it around and go back the other way like this just going to do all these ones now wait for the little flap to come out that and then like that that's really cool isn't it how things like this happen magic of paper so you can see it's a flat piece of card it just has diamonds on it with score lines now as soon as you bring this round together it becomes faceted without you even trying it just does it it's amazing isn't it i love it so all we've got to do now is secure these now this is why it's halfway now make sure when you secure these, the, if you try to go underneath like that, this doesn't really want to stick. Also, you can get the fold in the wrong place. So put these two little wings, if you like, over the top. And you can see where they have to go then. You can really put them together nicely. So we're going to put glue on the underside of these wings and on the top of this diamond. Now I'm not really sure what glue I've got out at the moment. Let's have a look what we've got. What we got? I don't know if this one's going to be unclogged. If not, I'll use the other one. Here we go. So put some glue onto here and glue onto here like this and smear it and then glue on there. Now don't go right up to that point. It's okay to go over these lines because the wings are going to come over here. But that point there, if it's not 100% accurate, may show. So just smear your glue along there. And then on the wrong side of these two wings so it goes right out to all the edges and then we're just going to join them up so now we can see where the diamond goes which is why i like having the whole diamond so you can see if you're on the right track you need to get these sides lined up here so top and bottom and the point as well so we get that on there I like that bit of glue there but this is only a demo one anyway I won't be using it so this is just the uh, the little bit that's a little fiddly now make sure that you put your finger underneath my hands up the tube and I'm resting because that is curved it's now curved itself so just so you're sticking that diamond section down so you can easily do the wings at each end now this is obviously the base and then what you can do is if you work out where the back is, which is where your wings are, if you're going to have your vase square, then this is the final one that's going to come through. So it's better to go with like the back one, the two side ones, and then this one, because then the fold is continual all the way through. It just looks nicer. Now you could do opposites first. You could do the two side ones first, and then the back and front, it doesn't matter. So just going to put some glue onto this. So it's really clever, isn't it? It's so simple how it comes together. It's the magic of paper craft. I absolutely love it. 
Now if you're finding that these have come up a little bit big, which I think that one's overhanging slightly, you can cut them down before you glue them. So try them out. I've got glue on here so I shouldn't really cut a glued bit of card. But then just snip off. It's only where those score lines were at the beginning. You can snip off some excess down to there. Like I say, do it first. <laughs> Not with glue on it. And you can see there I've got a score line. And that's why, because I've gone off a little bit with my um, gluing. So we're going to come in, in, and then finally the front one will come over. And that will give us the best view from the front of the vase. Because the fold's come in. And you haven't got this, you haven't got this join. You've got a fold there. So it looks a lot nicer. Then get your scoring tool or anything that's flat, not pointy, because you don't want to put a hole in the box. And just wiggle it around in there and get the glue to take. So I'll set that aside while I make the inside part for you. So the little piece that's, I don't know what to call it, the little bit that holds the flowers, that bit. <laughs> anyway, so what we need for that is a piece of card for this particular pot, okay? So it worked really well in this pot. And it's six and a half by three and a half, okay? So six and a half by three and a half. Now what you're going to do is turn it lengthways and score it three quarters on each side. So three quarters and three quarters. Like that. You've got two three quarters and then turn it around the other way. Oh, I don't know why I moved that. Turn it around the other way and then score it at half, at two, at three and a half and at five. So that one and a half inch increments and then a half on the end because this isn't like a faceted box so it's not important the other thing you want to do is do a halfway cut here so if you wanted to you could mark these out now the measurements for just putting a score line for um you know knowing where to cut is one and a quarter two and three quarters four and a quarter and five and three quarters and then that you'll be exactly where you need to be if you put the mark in the right place <laughs> now all you need to do with this one I'm going to bring in my coloured one like this so you can see that's what we just did so we put all these score lines in and then we made the little marks at the bottom now with the little one at the bottom what we're going to do is we're going to cut all of these flaps okay so we're going to cut this one every line at the bottom on each of the three quarter pieces basically gets cut both sides so just going along cutting all of these spin it around there's only four to do on this one and then we're gonna remove these two tabs on the small half inch bit we don't need those and you can angle that a little bit if you want just as it doesn't interfere with the fold up process and what we do with this one is we're just going to fold all these up so the bottom score line we don't have to fold any of the little tabs just the score lines that are in there we're just going to fold them all in open them back up and then we're going to fold this all around like so okay so now what we're going to do is join it together we're just gonna you can fold it in half tuck that tab in it's the easiest way to do it get pressure on it then and then what we do is we join the two together smear it might help the dr glue drew drew glue glue drew give it a good old rub down made that guy out of the sink haven't I never mind nope. and then it's a question of just folding two in popping glue on the two that you folded in and it doesn't matter about this it's going to be hidden inside the vase and glued there forever so no one's going to see this again we do that and that turn it up pop your this is the only chance you're going to get to make sure these are stuck now what you could do is now to be able to do this with the vase when you pop it inside the vase to close these bits up because these are just going to go around on top of each other um, 
if you wanted to because you don't want to put pressure on it but if you're just patient you can just make this now and then glue the base in without having to do that so I prefer to do it this way but you might want to pop it in and then do this bit because you're going to need to put glue on these four tabs here just smear it around with my little baby finger I find it a very useful little tool because you don't really use it for holding so you don't get glue on anything and then just fold these two over so you've basically got that cut you see so you can push that in I don't want to do too much silliness with it because I obviously need those to stick so you can put your finger in each one put some force in fact something skinny would be better than my big fat finger Give a little pinch tweezers would be great wouldn't they what a good idea so there we go so we've got a little insert that's going to hold the flowers in place now if I bring the vase over which is this way turn it up you've got a square if you see inside there's another square it's that way around and that's the way you see I'll show you so from that point so from the diamond points is a square the opposite way like turned 45 degrees I think it's 45 might be 90 having a moment and then this box as you can see you might have to put it in that way but then you turn it to fit inside of there so it's going to fit inside of there and then all you need to do is I just do it glue to the base Then we're just going to pop it back in so put it in square and then twist it when it's getting down there and then we're going to make sure it's all the way down to the base and this is where you can put a little something in there that's a little bit heavy or you can just hold it for your glue to dry you can pop your tool in there and push to the bottom to get the glue on there Hot support the sides when you pull the tool back out so you don't pull the box out you can see that does bash it but I have I've only used lightweight card so I use heavyweight card and it won't move as much so that's how you do the vase now the white one is exactly the same so you've got the same flaps and everything at the bottom so what I'll do is I'll just give you the measurements for that one I don't think we need to make that one we just need to make the bigger one because that one's got a little bit difference on the base so cut 10 and 1 8 by 7 and a quarter and that'll give you your measurements for that one sorry just had to have a little drink and then with this one we're going to mark it at two and a quarter you can probably see there but it's two and a quarter four and a half <laughs> which is there six and three quarters and then nine okay and then for the bottom you're going to do the same thing but you're going to make your score line up to this score line which is sat at five and you've got a 2.5 little line there so you've got a five 2.5 and then when you've got this again you go back through so two and a quarter four and a half six and three quarters and nine and you do them all the way up to the score line then we just cut off this piece make the diagonal folds as we did before and then it would all come together exactly the same way as the last one did and then you fold the flap so that's that one it's exactly the same as the first one just different measurements this is the large one so the difference with this one you do exactly the same and the measurements are 11 and a quarter by 8 for the piece of cardstock you're going to mark it two and a half five seven and a half and ten so every two and a half inches you're going to turn it around you're going to score it six all the way down and put a little mark at three so mark it three, score it six all the way down, turn it back around, then from two and a half, you're going to mark up to the cut line, uh, the score line every two and a half inches, two and a half, five, seven and a half, ten, and then cut, so like we did before. Then we're going to remove this piece as we did before, because we don't ever need this little tab piece on the bottom. So that bit goes. Now the difference you'll notice is with this, let me make the scores. Is I've put lines on there and I'll show you why you don't have to but I'll show you why it looks better and come back this way I'm doing this really quickly guys it's not going to be amazing so hold your box in like I say put um, 
the wings over the diamond like this you want it to go like this okay so you're going to put it like that now with this box these score these i know it's close these two when they all come around can you see we've got a shortfall there if that doesn't bother you carry on and then just put another piece over the whole of the base alternatively we know this is two and a half so if we put a mark and the way you can do that is on your scoreboard if you like so you can just mark it there so you just need to come in because we only want it to be one and a quarter because this is two and a half half of two and a half is one and a quarter so we'll go from six to seven and a quarter and make a line down there and then we can remove these two and just cut along these like this and that's how you're going to get the base looking neater so you don't have to put an extra piece on the bottom if you don't mind don't worry about it don't need to do this bit so then when you pull it all around you'll have the two large ones folding doesn't matter that they don't meet and then these two on the bottom will meet up nice and neatly so you've got like a halfway meet okay so i hope that all makes sense guys have fun enjoy making them and i hope to see you again real soon thanks for watching bye